Welcome back, everybody. We are for Pilates sake, Veronica and Matilda here. Uh, today, Matilda is gonna teach me the scissors, which comes after double leg stretch. Correct. Yeah. So stomach series, we, are, we already looked at the single leg stretch, yeah. the double leg stretch. There's a lot of information on those two exercises on the YouTube video that already shows the setup of the spine. Right. We'll go through it real quick, but I think we did a pretty good job there yeah. to show the importance of the amount of spinal flexion, keeping the shoulder girdle organized, and that organization of the shoulder girdle in scissors is really important because you're reaching a lot farther now. Yes. So let's just quickly show single leg, double leg quick, okay. and then we'll go right into our scissors. So just kind of go back, recall this shape that uh, V is in now. An important piece, you guys, honestly, is that she's very flexible so she can do this. Just know that as much as you're trying to curl your tail, you're also trying to curl your rib cage forward. We tend to bring our hips up too right. high and sit back and that's how people start to flatten their thoracic spine up as well. So you're gonna use the hands and the shins to help pick your ribs up. It brings your pelvis down so you're kind of more centered in a uniform spine here, mm -hmm. right? Find that back of the shoulder girdle, super important. So for the single leg, let's say, V would have had one leg out, one leg in. Here's where you're already teaching the shape and the organization. So you've got your single leg. And then when you go into your double leg, same idea. Now you've got two, except for now you're challenging because both legs are out. So it's a lot more abdominal strength that's required because now both legs are reaching out, but already organizing the girdle. Now, as soon as you're ready to go into your scissors both legs reach up you take the back of one ankle so as veronica she's gonna you're gonna inhale pull further and then you're gonna switch and pull so inhale and pull and exhale and pull so what we're looking for here is that because with a very flexy veronica as we know she can lose her shoulder girdle very easily so i'm gonna come down I'm going to drop her girdle back onto her. So find your pinky line a little bit more and pull your rib cage to me instead of your arms. Right there. You got that? Not a girl. Now, this can easily happen too. We come too far this way. So you have to still maintain the flexion of the rib cage coming forward as the pelvis comes back. Now, as she switches her legs, you try to not switch that. So that leg coming down, you can actually open the hip more there so that the leg, they want to counterbalance each other, right? And then we switch and you keep finding those arms. That a girl and switch, find the arms. So you're really pulling that leg to you and from the strength in the back of the shoulder joint. And you're also, you're not just pulling the leg to you with your arms, but you're also trying to flex yeah, your spine more. It's not just ever a one thing um, in the Pilates work. It's so full body. It's as much beautiful. Okay, it's beautiful. Nice. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Anything to add? No, that felt good. Okay. That, actually, the, you really being um, forceful. Yeah, <laughs> on, in a good way. Yeah. With um, <laughs> pushing onto my shoulders, totally got my upper belly fired up more. Perfect. So I'm very gumby through yeah. here. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. You know, unless someone yeah. gets on me, I can easily just go there. So uh, yeah. Whew, You'll see it, that. you guys. It's, it's like the whole shoulder girdle meaning the, the collarbones and the shoulder blades. Yep. It just does kind of like, it does this thing and it just picks up. And when it does, the rib cage kind of drops down and then flexion is not really available. Well, and it's a hangy right? flexion. It's a hangy It's not flexion. a true forward flexion. So we'll call that rounding. Okay, rounding, <laughs> not flexing. <laughs> sure. But right, that's the difference yeah. between flex, flexion and of the spine. There's rounding of the spine, flexing of the spine. That's a whole other video and we'll talk that one day. Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next time. See ya.